Hello guys, this is Tech Xrena and today we're showing you how to get your Raspberry Pi up and running. Now the first thing you have to do is uh, check the description and download an operating system. If you're new to Linux, you can download something like Raspbian or if you think you can handle command line well, that is only a black screen and text written all over it, you can download Arch Linux. Uh, I prefer Arch Linux because it is light and uh, Raspberry Pi is not exactly a powerhouse. The second thing you have to do is download uh, Windows 32 disk imager. The link to the binary is there in the description. Uh, you can extract it and run it directly. There's no need to install. So uh, I just started. You need administrator rights. Now as you can see, uh, there's nothing listed under device and even though I've inserted my uh, memory card, this it's not listed here. I, I think that's kind of a bug or some new feature in Windows. But I don't know. So to battle that, you go to disk management. You can see I've inserted my memory card and it is visible here, although it is not here. So for that, you assign it a drive letter. Let's give it E. OK. Now you can see this is accessible. Yes, it is. OK, now you can open disk image again. You can see uh, device under device. This is already listed. Now you can give it the ISO path. Now we we downloaded this, which is actually a zip file. You can see here. You have to extract it, and then you get a file, which is this, which is around 1.82 GB. Okay. Now you go to the desktop, and this is my image. All you have to do is press hit right. Yes. Now it will take quite some time to write about 2 GB into the uh, memory card. Till that time you can get your uh, micro USB charger cable and plug it in the uh, either a laptop or mains and you can start up your Pi. You can set up your Pi initially that is. Then as soon as this is done you can take out your uh, memory card from the uh, computer and plug it in the Raspberry Pi and you can start it. We'll be showing you how to access Raspberry Pi from a Windows machine as well soon when this is done. Thank you guys. Like and subscribe.